Hi, it's Malcolm here and welcome to the Greyhound um, card software and in this video I'm going to talk you through the software, all the bits and pieces about it, how you can use it, that kind of thing, um, just to get you started and on your way. So um, basically you get the cards like this every day, uh, generally they're ready by about 8 o'clock in the morning, sometimes a little bit later. We do try to get there obviously before the first race. Um, but generally they're, they're there just before eight o'clock. Um, as far as the results are concerned, you have to wait a bit later for those. They don't, those don't normally come into about 9.30, 9.35. Um, so, but, but we're gonna be talking about the cards, the results are, are just the same, but obviously got the results on them. So um, let me talk you through the cards and, um, and let's see how we get on. So basically we've got the times of all the races. You get every single race in a day, unless for some reason, it's not there anymore, that kind of thing. But generally, when we get these cards, all the races should be in there. There's generally around 140, 150 a day. Um, Sundays, I think it might be a bit less, about 120, 30, something like that. Um, depends on the day. But generally, there's 100, roughly 140, 50 a day. Um, so there's plenty for you to choose from. Um, you can also go through the cards by just going next race, next race that kind of thing to keep you um, started. Um, okay, so we've got distance, um, which is 460. Uh, I think that's in meters. Pretty sure that is 460 meters. Um, class, um, I've explained that in the manual, but basically there's class A, um, one to 10, um, class D, one to six. So basically class A, one is the best, class A, 10 is the worst, um, class D1 is presumably the best and D6 is the worst. Um, and then there's handicap and um, OR or something like that. But generally, the majority of the races you come across will be standard A races, um, but they will be somewhere between one and 10. Um, you will get D races and you'll get handicapped during the day, but not so many. Um, statistical confidence. This is um, basically a figure that is built up around the number of selections we've found that meet the criteria of this race so basically at, at Henlow uh, distance 460 A8 we found 142 selections um, and so we kind of think that's quite a high percentage and that will only get higher as time goes on anyway um, we also sort out the favorite strike rate and in this case um, the favorites is 2676 so um, the average is about 32 I think um, so 2676 is a lower um, strike rate for the favourite, so that might give you some confidence if you decide to take on the favourite. Of course, that is spread across favourites at any price. So, you know, there'll be lots of favourites around four that probably won't do that that well, and there'll be lots of favourites around under two that do. So be a little bit careful with that figure. Um, but yeah, that just gives you an idea of whether this, this course, um, you know, does better with favourites or worse. Um, then we've got obviously the trap number, one to six. Um, we get all our information in the morning. It's not updated during the day. Uh, so if there's a non-runner, if we know about it in the morning, it'll show up somewhere in the race cars, it should do. Um, if we don't, it won't show up and you'll just um, see runners that aren't there. Um, also any course abandonments, that kind of thing, watch out for late races, um, all those sorts of things. Non-runners, replacements, also replacements won't show up in these cards either. As I said, they're formulated first thing in the morning. After that, they're not changed. So any changes in runners um, won't show up. So be careful with that as well. There are so many races today, the overheads of doing it just didn't make any sense whatsoever. So we left it exactly as it was. Uh, the name of the runner, um, Chance of winning, again, this is a statistical piece of information based on the race and everything else, um, and some information about the runner. And basically we work out this um, chance of winning. Um, so in this case, you can sort all these columns, by the way, by just um, clicking on them. So you go one to six. Um, I don't know how well that name one works actually, but um, chance of winning. So we've got the lowest at the top, top and highest at the bottom. We'll do it the other way. And we've got the highest at the top, lowest at the bottom. Um, expected price. Um, interesting. This is kind of how I first originally started the rating. I was trying to work out a price for each runner to get a value. Um, I'm not sure how well it works. It probably works slightly better at the lower race. Um, 
at the lower end than it does the higher end, obviously. But you may want to think about it if you're taking on a, a lay bit that's over the price that you see on here. That's not very probably not very good value. But at the same time, um, the market might have just decided it's a bum runner and you know whatever price is is. Um, so yeah, be a be a bit careful with laying over the expected price. You really want to be under it as much as possible, but you will find that sometimes you are so but just keep it in mind that it's just a guide though it's not set in stone it's only kind of what we're expecting sometimes we're not far off other times we're majorly off so um i don't know and um, the rating is a rating i created um to look at the runner's history and decide um what chance it could have of winning the race based on the information i had there is obviously the lower ratings seem to work well the higher ratings a little bit difficult more to tell um but you know if you get a low rating um that tends to work quite well um along with a low cow and a low score now the score is um it's kind of what the last thing i put into that kind of put everything into place um and the score is based on a, a number of pieces of information including what's here now but some others that aren't included in the um, the cards um, but basically I come up with this score which seems to work very well so it's low score low chance of winning generally um, again you can sort by score um, so you know you're probably if you're laying you're looking out for low scores low ratings low chance of winning you know altogether I mean that's not going to be set in stone that works every single time but I think it gives you a good idea of um, what to look for so um, you know, yeah, so basically, if you go through the results cards, um, you will see that often these low ratings don't come in. Um, and so building a strategy around those might be a good thing. And the other way around, building a strategy around high cows or high chance of winnings could be another way of looking at it. So that kind of wraps up the cards, really. It's as simple as that. Um, you know, we're, we're going to, I've given some information in, in the manual about. You know, looking for zero, low, low chance of winning, scores low. Um, I like them um, five or below. Um, I also like to see strength in the race. Um, and some of the other testers have, are only go for high um, races where we've got high confidence when they're making their selections. So they know they've got a bit more confidence in what's happening. Um, yeah, so that, that's the kind of thing you're looking out for. Um, just just cards where it looks like you've got a good chance of, of taking on a particular runner and, and winning. And so the scores and the cow and a rating will all help you. The lower they are, probably the better it is. OK, so that kind of covers the cards, really. It's quite simple. I've tried to keep it as simple as possible. I, you know, I could have gone on and put loads of information in, but I don't think it would help a lot. And um, I am looking at other information and seeing if it does help. Um, and if it does, I will start including it um, in, in future um, versions of the software. Um, obviously, all upgrades to the software are free while you're a member of the service. Um, but if I, you know, if I come across something else and I think, yeah, that's actually helping, then I, I may well include that. Well, I will include it in the cards if I decide it is working. Um, so watch out for any changes in the cards. But if they do come along, I will explain them. OK, see you soon. Bye bye.